Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. On our prayer request, Patty's mother is still in the hospital, not sure of a release date yet. Pray she'll be okay and get to go home soon. Patty, uh, let us know how your mother's doing and if she's still in the hospital. Uh, it's been several days, uh, like five days or so. I hope she's able to go home. Let us know what, how she's, give us an update on how she's doing. Sharon's husband uh, has been in the hospital with, a, with AFib. Uh, they have him on meds now. He was supposed to get to go home. Sharon, uh, let us know how, how your husband's doing, if he able, was able to come home. I know he was 10 hours away from, from you, and you weren't able to, to get to, to be with him. So I hope, I hope he's doing better. Uh, breaking insanity cycle and her daughter aren't doing well. Pray they get better. Uh, our son-in-law, Will, has COVID, uh, but he is doing better now. He's starting to do better, so I'm gonna, uh, he's, he's getting over it now. Uh, pray for Loretta and her husband. They are in the process of moving. Also pray for Loretta. She's not feeling very well. Our scripture today comes from Mark 7, 14 through 23. Again, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. After he had left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about this parable. Are you so dull, he asked? Don't you see that nothing that enters a person from the outside can defile them? For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach, and then out of the body. I'm saying, in saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. He went on, what comes out of a person is what defiles them. For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come, sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, grease, greed, it's greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. Okay. Uh-oh. That's my little bookmark. Okay, and um, our devotion today is entitled, The Source. It was 1854 and something was killing thousands of people in London. It must be the bad air, people thought. And indeed, as unseasonable heat baked the sewage fouled River Thames, the smell grew so bad it became known as the Great Stink. But the worst problem wasn't the air. Research by Dr. John Snow would show that contaminated water was the cause of the cholera epidemic. We humans have long been aware of another crisis, one that stinks to high heaven. We live in a broken world and we're prone to misidentify the source of this problem, treating symptoms instead. Wise social programs and policies do some good, but they're powerless to stop the root cause of society's ills our sinful hearts. When Jesus said nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them, he wasn't referring to physical diseases. Rather, he was diagnosing a spiritual condition of every one of us. It is what comes out of a person that defiles them, he said, listing a litany of eagles lurking inside us. Surely I was sinful at birth, David wrote. His lament is only one is, on, is one we can all voice. We're broken from the beginning. That's why David prayed, create me, in a, create me a pure heart, O Lord. Every day we need that new heart created by Jesus through his spirit. Instead of treating the symptoms, we must let Jesus purify the source. In what ways might you be treating symptoms instead of letting Jesus clean up the source? 
How can you share the good news of what Jesus did for you? Heavenly Father, guard my heart and help me be attentive to your spirit within me. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on on Morning Coffee Break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.